Hello. In this video, we will try to help you understand the reasons why there are wrong data on the fuel level sensor in the GPS tracking system. As in the previous video, first we will divide the problems into groups. The basis for the analysis will be the graph with fuel volume in the tank and the raw data which is received by the server. The first group. In the reports, we see a lot of refilling events and fuel thefts, which do not exist in reality. On the graph, we see that the sensor values sometimes drop to zero or jump to maximum, or even higher than the maximum. Also, there are periods when the level sensor chart is correct. There are several possible reasons. First of all, it is necessary to check whether the extreme points of data may refer to the diagnostic code of the GPS tracker, which indicates that the sensor is not correct connected. First of all, it is necessary to check whether the extreme points of data may refer to the diagnostic code of the tr GPS tracker, which indicates that the sensor is not connected. For example, the BCE devices send in this case the maximum level of 32,768, which guarantees you a full tank on the graph. So, we have to look at the messages section and see what data comes from the GPS tracker during these periods. Some GPS trackers will show zero levels value when the digital sensor is disconnected, and the disconnection of level sensor with analog or frequency output will also give us a value of the fuel level equal to zero. It is necessary to check the quality of electrical connections. The second reason. Fuel values jumps can be caused by water in the fuel or the accumulation of dirt between the electrodes. For Eurosense Dominator, you can remove the sensor from the fast pionode mount and inspect the electrodes. Fuel level values don't drop to the empty tank can be caused by poor contact of the electrodes with the measuring module. Do not forget that while connecting the dominator electrodes with the electric model, the inner electrode must also be screwed. The second group. There are incorrect refuelings and fuel thefts. The graph shows that the data from the sensor seem to be free sometimes, and then rapidly goes back to real values. As a result, we have refueling and fuel theft events which do not exist. The reasons for this group of faults are the same. Lack of communication with the sensor, data output from the sensor beyond the risible limits set in the sensor or software. The difference with the previous case is that the GPS tracker does not send a diagnostic code in the absence of data. There is nothing for the software to display, so it keeps displaying the last correct value. In the messages, we can see the absence of fuel data during this freeze period. You can find it out by analyzing the raw data. The third group. The fuel volume plot is simply not very good. Of course, the quality of fuel volume monitoring depends on the shape of the tank. But we will suppose that on another similar machine with the same tank, you have better data. Check the plot, whether we can say that the plot we have is poor quality in the entire volume of the tank, or only in some parts of the tank. In the second case, defects in the calibration table are more likely. We recommend to build plots of calibration tables. The calibration plot will show the defects of the calibration, and you can also make a comparison of several tables for identical tanks. In this case, the drop in fuel is caused by a defect in the calibration table when a new calibration point was added to the sensor's memory without actually filling the tank. Such defects distort the operation of the sensor and make the plot unstable in the defected part of the tank calibration table. It is quite easy to distinguish such installation defect as clogging of the drainage hole. The fuel level inside the measuring part of the sensor cannot change as quickly as the fuel level in the tank does. We can see very slow operation of sensor, as if long average in time was turned on. However, 
Sometimes the sensor can work properly. Due to vibration, the blockage in the drainage hole can sometimes open. Here you can see how sensor worked with clogging and after removing the clogging. Often, the customer complains that refueling reports in the GPS tracking software system do not converge with the actual ones. It is important to analyze immediately whether there is a pattern in the error. A popular reason why the monitoring system shows less when the vehicle is being filled to a full tank, sensor is not calibrated to a full tank. If the fuel in the tank is filled more than it was during calibration, the additional fuel volume may not be taken into account. On the graphs, it looks like a horizontal ceiling for the values of the fuel volume. Besides this, after refueling, the car can move for a while with a constant maximum amount of fuel in the tank. We can even determine the non-provisioned volume, if not only the value of the fuel volume from the sensor, but its internal frequency that comes into the monitoring system. In the case when the value of the fuel volume rests on the limit indicated during calibration, the internal frequency of the sensor continues to change, and we can detect the segment of the internal frequency of the sensor, which corresponds to the non-provisioned volume. Given that the fuel level sense has a liner characteristic, it is possible to calculate the uncalibrated length of the sensor. Also, an unstable graph of the volume can be caused by the same reasons that cause the sensor to skip or its drop to zero, disconnecting the sensor, poor contact of the electrodes, water at the bottom. But these extreme values pass through the built-in averaging of the GPS terminal or the monitoring program, and therefore disguise themselves as data and distort it. To diagnose problems, we recommend you to disable all possible averaging and data processing filters immediately. Fourth group. Values from the sensor are unstable when the vehicle is stationary. This case requires an outside inspection. Probably there is damage to the electronic module of the sensor. In this case, we recommend replacing the electronic module with a new one, while the calibration table with the replaced one is loaded into the old module. The removed electronic module can be connected without electrodes to the GPS tracker for several days, and its operation can be analyzed. Unstable data in this state indicates the inoperability of the sensor.